for proper rates of pay and trade union recognition on this site. We're trying to impress on the trust that they've took on here at Blacklister. These sites need to be closed down. They need to be closed down till everything is sorted out properly. The rates of pay, direct employment, lads who are blacklisted getting in there. The Blacklist support group in the Merseyside area Let's give names the lads who were on the blacklist, none have been taken on at present. There's no access for the trade unions to get involved, there's no access for them. Neither was the, at the previous big job in Liverpool at Older Hay, the, 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 the hospital there. We're the old buggers of the construction industry, we're trying to help and support lads on site, but we need your help to join the trade union and elect your shop servants. What we say, lads, you should be out here with us as well. You should be out here with us, lads. I would be proud to stand here. The lads have been blacklisted, so they can't get a job, and the, the rates have been set terrible. So just have a bit of patience, you'll be all right. You know what I mean? You just have to tackle for a bit, that's all, mate. Yeah. Now, what I'm trying to tell these people here is. They can't sack you, they sack you, you're out here with us, who's going to go in and do the fucking job? Simple as that mate. Yeah. That's right mate. I appreciate that fella. This is the new Royal Liverpool Hospital, it's going to cost £492 million, it's going to go on over a five year period and it's going to be the flagship job within the city. We've been in to negotiate with the Trust and also uh, with Carillion. Carillion were one of the biggest blacklisters with the Consultant Association going back um, uh, over a, a number of decades and actually between 1996 and 2004 they were the biggest users of the Consultant Association. We were blacklisted by a whole series of firms. Carillion, Balfour BD. You were out of work, you would see a, a, an advert in the local press. Go to pick that advert up wherever it was and you would get there and say you want bricklayers out about to kick in, yeah. Give us a couple of minutes and then they'll come back and say, sorry lads, you're full up. And that was the way it up. So you never really realised the thought would be genuine. It was the first time as a steward there was a dispute over bonus and uh, the non-payment of it actually. And uh, little did I know at that time, uh, but after 2009 and the consulting association being raided, and then I subsequently got the file. Uh, yeah, there was a date, 1976, and I was described as a military troublemaker. Many years ago, before that, there was a called the Economic League, and the Northern Region headquarters were in Newcastle. And guess where they were? Tory Party headquarters. So we picketed at that then. Carillion were part of the consultant association scandal, and they personally blacklisted me and 3,200 other construction workers just for standing up for their rights, demanding that uh, we had proper health and safety on a job and demanding that we actually got paid on time. Just for being elected a safety rep on one Carillion site, I was blacklisted and sacked by Carillion. They're still involved in them practices because they're not taking blacklisted workers on. Um, they can remedy this uh, to some degree by taking blacklisted workers on and, and giving us union representation inside the site but they're doing none of either. Negotiations have broken down, we give them files for lads to start, we ask them to pay national agreements which they've gone against, apprentices aren't what they should be and also the local labour levels aren't uh, anything like which they've uh, put into the contract as well. Listen lads, you're on this job, you're all working self-employed, you're getting exploited, the lot of is. I tell you what, why don't you come out and join us? Join us now. Walk off that site and show them our, your solidarity with us. We're here for you. This job should be paid at a decent rate. The national agreement rate, it should be a blue book site this. And Canadian are just milking you. They're picking on young lads, taking you on saying, oh, you're self-employed, you'll be minted, load of shit. Fucking miles worse off self-employed. You're losing out about five pound an hour on the rate. When you take into consideration your holiday pay and all your terms and conditions, you're losing big time, all of you. And you've got five years of losing there. Five years, and the next job will be the same. And until you sort it out, every single job you go on will be the same. 
just get yourself sorted, have a think about it, and, and come and join us, come to the branches, join the union, it's up to you, it's your money you're throwing down the grid, it's your mates who'll get sacked at the drop of a hat. We all work on unionised sites, and they're brilliant to work on, everyone does the job, works hard, and the managements are happy, the workers are happy, but you lot won't be happy, not the way you're being treated in there, self-employed, my fucking ass. <laughs> what we're trying to do is get rid of the agencies on here, so people are working bogusly self-employed, they're not getting paid the NICI agreements or the GIV agreements, and that's why we're here today as well, to see that people are paid uh, the right rates of pay on the national agreements. We've come down from Teesside today, we've got a big campaign run up there that's very similar, and it's about not undercutting the rate. So when you're on the site out there, just listen carefully to what these lads have got to say. It's not about you guys personally, it's about this big business undercutting the rates of pay. So get unionised, get yourselves organised, and start fighting for what you're entitled to, the correct rates of pay. In Teesside now, what's happened is that the union officers have been in with independent interpreters, they found out the, right, uh, the, the rate of pay that the uh, migrant labour's been getting and being virtually getting abused. Some are getting between 10 euro, 13 euro, and some as little as 50 euro a day. Today, it's, it's great to be here with all lads and lads who are here, stand here with the lads who are behind me, and, and, and brothers and sisters with a backbone who fight for the rights. We've got a democratic right to protest in this country, and we expect to exercise it. The best chance, the best chance you've got of getting this road unblocked Get them managers from Kalina. We're going to talk to them. We're aware of that. We're aware of that. That's what we're doing. If you go on the side, there's no big shift. No, no, we're not going on the side. Right, you're not willing to move to the side no, for yeah, it's not yeah, traffic not, yeah, not, no yeah, worries, guys. Not, what we want to do is go in and speak to the lads in there and we have to come to you. Oh, 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 my own fucking business, don't be banging my band. Trying to run people over me, you idiot! See these lads, the blacklist of rights. Sorry, they won't be Hey, you tell me, it's because of the force of the rights. Mate, I've come from Teesside, mate, we've got the same problems, right? I'm a window king, you know and he's just told me you don't want to be blacklisted. Yeah. Well, it's out of order, then. Yeah. 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 And, and the, the, the one starting one direct on them, it's starting them all as agencies, which, which we're against all that, mate, right? Well, I don't believe you. You're a mean fuck lad, isn't it? And the lads are out here, can't get a fucking graft on you. Can I help you just back up there? If I stand there, make sure you... Liverpool City Council did pass a motion back in 2013 saying that no companies would be allowed to tender for contracts who are complicit in blacklisting. Uh, so they've totally gone against that. We're going to target them. Uh, we're going to target the trust and we're also going to target Carillion this time as well. Comrades, I'm Terry Abbas, I'm uh, part of the Unite in the old CNG construction section. I worked in the building all my life. Uh, the health and safety is a main issue. I experienced this when I worked on Fiddler's Ferry and I seen a young scaffolder. Start, the day he started, fell to his death from 200 foot. And when I was at 20, I realised then, sometimes it's your choice between your life and your livelihood. Sometimes we paid the price of it, you know, our livelihood. People have been blacklisted, but you'd have no choice but to fight these unscrupulous employers. They've got no interest in safety, no, absolutely no interest at all. I would hate to be in your position now, as young lads coming up in the construction industry. Because these assholes, because that's all they are, Carillion, are going to take you for every penny you've got, unless you get organised. About this Carillion, I went to the Labour Party conference two years ago, and would you bet that the Carillion had a stand there in the, in the Labour Party conference? Here they come, here, there's the big boys now. Here, boys, here they come, here's the riot police. <laughs> This road here for me. Um, we're going to get everyone else to go round the block the other side for me. Because basically, we've got one vehicle there. If you just go to the other side and stop them going through for the Yeah, just for the safety, more than anything. The senior officer down there has asked the uh, police to go out there and block the road. So now the police are helping us to block the road. <laughs> well, uh, the police have come out in solidarity with us. <laughs> 
Keeping them out. I didn't there, you've got the right to process. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah. I want to facilitate. My job is to make sure this is safe. You're safe, and obviously the, the everyone is safe in there. Okay. That's the sound of the police. That's the sound of the I think this has got the capacity to be the biggest thing in this city since the Dockers strike in 1997. Because uh, this job, as I mentioned, is going to go on for five years. So unless this is remedied anytime soon, we're going to be involved in a number of actions similar to this over the next five years. Thanks very much and we'll be in touch over the next demonstration here. And one thing I will say is that we won't go away from here until we get what we want off this site. End the blacklist. Thanks very much. <laughs>